So what comes in your mind when we say the word cloning? Now, if you're like me, then and you're a Star Wars fan, then you might know that clone troopers are one of the biggest armies in Star Wars, right? So clone troopers are looking alike armies. So something which look alike is called as clones, right? Exactly similar. In terms of DNA, what does cloning mean? Or what is a DNA clone? Definitely, DNA clone means similar looking DNA or similar DNA in terms of characteristics and properties. So, cloning a DNA is pretty much comparable to a copying machine, which copies paper, right? So, just like we have to give paper into a copying machine, we have to give our DNA to a machine and the machine is bacteria right now in a copying machine we have to give the paper which it copies and give us multiple copies now we have to put our gene of interest in a specific format which is understandable by the bacteria such that it can also take the uh, our input or take our input DNA and make multiple copies of it now how many copies that they would make it depends upon the bacteria because some bacteria like to make a lot of copies of the DNA, some bacteria like less. But the added advantage with using a bacteria is the bacteria itself, if given proper temperature and proper media, then bacteria grows quite fast, right? And as they grow, the gene of interest or the DNA of interest that we are looking at, that also grow in number. So definitely let's just don't waste our time and energy let's just quickly jump into the meth methodology cloning can be achieved so the first step is choosing a particular vector the vector is just a media by which it it can take our gene of interest inside the bacteria most of the cases these are plasmids so first step plasmid has to be digested with proper restriction enzymes and then the rest the digested plasmid should be purified and cleaned up then comes our gene of interest the gene of interest has to be cleaved with the same restriction enzyme with which we are cleaving the plasmid and digestion with proper restriction enzyme is important for proper cloning and followed by the digestion you should clean the uh, digested products now important step is ligation in this step T4 DNA ligase is important and the ligation efficiency depends upon vector to insert ratio, incubation time and incubation temperature of course. Once it is ligated and we get a proof of that ligation then we can insert the plasmid along with our gene of interest inside the bacteria by a process known as transformation by giving them a heat shock and the bacteria would eat up the plasmid right now after the bacteria has eaten up the plasmid now we just need the bacteria to grow so we give bacteria a proper culture media where it can grow in number and once the bacteria grows our gene of interest which is inside the plasmid also grows and then we can isolate the plasmid and take out our gene of interest but the problem here is twofold First of all, some bacteria might eat up the plasmid, some bacteria might not. So how would you ensure, ensure that in the culture which bacteria has your uh, gene of interest? So we need some selectable markers or some resistance markers by which we can like clearly kill those bacteria which don't have the plas plasmid, right? So that is why we put antibiotic resistance gene which works like a selectable marker. So if we give antibiotics into the culture media, now only those bacteria would survive which has the antibacterial gene inside it, right? So that means the bacteria which has eaten the plasmid up would only survive and the others would just die, right? That is why we can get rid of those bacteria which hasn't uh, eaten up or has not been transformed with the plasmid. Now here comes the second problem. Now, from the ligated product, there could be some 
some uh, plasmids which are self ligated don't have the ins insert and some plasmid which has the insert now we want the plasmid which has the insert that means our gene of interest so how do we get rid of the second one so in order to get rid of the self ligated plas plasmid we can use selectable markers or screenable markers so most of the cases plasmid has screenable markers such as the gene that codes for lag c now lag c produce beta galactosidase and as we know beta galactosidase break down uh beta ga galactosidase it makes a uh, glucose to lactose right so lactose to glucose now beta galactosidase can cleave a a product color product known as xgal to give a blue colored uh, product right now if we if the gene is active then beta galactosidase would be produced and the bacterial colony would produce beta galactosidase and thereby adding the substrate on the media would produce blue colored colonies on the other hand side if beta galactosidase is somehow not produced because the gene is somehow disrupted because insertion of the gene of interest then beta galactosidase won't be produced as a result if now the bacteria is in uh, transformed with the plasmid containing gene of interest it would give rise to colonies but the colonies would be colorless upon adding x gal so we know the colonies which are white in color have our gene of interest the blue ones doesn't have that on basis of that we can clearly understand that the blue colored colonies are of no use the white color colonies have our recombinant dna so we can screen among these two situations as well and then we can take out the white color colonies and culture them and make a pure culture out of it now once we culture it in a bulk situation we can pull down the bacterial cells take out the dna now the dna simply from several bacteria we can isolate the plasmid dna and now the plasmid dna has many many copies of our uh, gene of interest so we can store that for future use now the question is what is the use of this recombinant dna so the recombinant dna or the cloned dna could have several use like making transgenic animals making transgenic plants making transgenic synthetic proteins or chimerized protein or several other genetic engineering applications which we would be talking in subsequent videos but for now if you like my video give it a quick thumbs up and don't like to like share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment section if you have a specific question or how do you like my video thank you